Hi guys, Paul Duncan here from Competitive Edge Coaching and Dominate Your Market. Hope you're having a fantastic start to the week and welcome to another episode of Marketing Monday where I'm talking about uh, networking and marketing ideas. Now last week we, uh, we spoke about uh, setting some networking goals. So this week I want to talk about blocking out that time or allocating some time to do your networking on a day to day or a week to week basis because we we tend to sort of forget about um, things that we need to be doing in our business to move forward because life gets in the way appointments get in the way and it gets put to the back so what you need to do is pretty much on a Monday or preferably on the Friday before the week get the calendar out and start scheduling some some time to do some networking whether that's cold calling whether that's advertising or PR work or even you if you've got a social media presence or exposure that you want to get out there you need to start scheduling it all there but uh, what I want to sort of emphasize is that you need to follow the behavioral steps because if it's not part of your behavior right it's not going to happen on a on a week to week basis and be part of your life so the four steps that i work with is that um, the first one is wanted. You really need to be wanting to do this for a reason. And that's whether it's lead generation, whether that's conversion or meeting new people. If you've got a business that's, um, you know, you, you're very passionate about and you want to get that message out there, you've got to feel it in your, in your chest that you want to do it. The next thing is you need to learn it. You need to learn it properly. So what I mean by that is to where you actually, um, you learn where the uh, concentration of people are that's in your target market, if that's what you're after. The highest concentration of people that are gonna resonate with what you're saying and the message that you're doing. Um, and then you lead on to the fourth part, which is you've gotta try it. You've gotta try and test, you've gotta A, B, test, test stuff so you know if you go to some networking events try different speeches different elevator pitches different offers different um, interrupt headlines if it's in an ad um, advertisement or print ad um, you know you've got to try these sort of different ideas and last but not least and with what I'm very passionate about is you need to live it You've got to have that emotional thing. You've got to have it part of your life or it's not going to happen. I come back to, you know, I mean, if we want to get fit, we, we tend to um, logically go out there and join a gym, for instance, which means that, you know, unless it's an emotional attachment to us, it'll only last, you know, two to three weeks, that momentum wears off and we suddenly go back to our old ways and we never do it. So, I mean, this is all around about behavioral changes that you need to implement into your business and really be pushing forward. So, I mean, a couple of things that, that can help you along when you're trying to block out time for networking and making it part of your day-to-day -day activity, week-to-week -week activity, or even your monthly activity if you do it on a month-to-month -month basis. Right. Uh, what we said last week is to set some goals. So you might want to say, well, I want to attend um, four networking events this month. Well, you start breaking it down. I want to attend one a week. Right. What days is that going to be? Okay. So you put it into your calendar, you block out that time. That's what I'm talking about today. But it comes back to asking those simple questions. You mean how, you know, questions like how much time will I um, allocate to networking each week? Each, week, each fortnight, each month. I mean, what percentage of my budget am I going to dedicate for word of mouth, for instance? I mean, how much am I going to be putting in to get some referrals in there? How many meals, for instance, am I going to um, allocate or how many meals am I going to have with a different person this week? I mean, am I going to have two breakfasts with somebody that I haven't met? Am I going to have, you know, go out to a, um, a lunch meeting and meet people and have lunch with people that I've never met before? These are the things you need to be asking a question and then bring it back to part of your goals and then part of blocking out time each week, each fortnight, each month to have that done. Other things that you might want to ask is, I mean, how many new people do I want to meet him this week? I mean, um, I mean uh, things like how much new business do I want this week? It all comes back to your activities, which means then it comes back to your behavioural styles. Right? Our values, our um, I mean, what our beliefs, our values are all determined by our behaviours. 
okay so start thinking about the emotional stuff and it'll start happening for you so that's my take on uh, marketing monday this week um, if you have any questions feel free to give me a call or if you need some help um, also as I said before is that i'm looking for some case studies for my new book um, so if you know of anybody or if you want to be a case study send me a, a, a message personal message me or, or text me and we'll be able to sort of catch up and I can pass that through. So I hope you have a fantastic and profitable week and look forward to catching up with you next Monday. Take care.